Hello everyone, welcome back to another part of me doing this kitchen. This is the kitchen in the 12 hipped roof house. If you watched the first part of this kitchen install, thank you very much. If you didn't, you can check it out here. So what we've got to do, as I said at the end of the last video, uh, we've got a couple of little scrubs to put in, but mainly we've got a tall end panel to put in here. We've got the back panel to put down, where is it? Ooh, back panel to put down here on the breakfast bar. Uh, and then we can put all the wall units up uh, down there and then that's this part of the kitchen done and then we've got a little utility room that we've got to just square it's all a bit dark in here isn't it just square up a few units in here some cavities for a dishwasher and tumble dryer in there and a unit to cut around this boxing so uh, we're gonna have to crack on because the guys are coming to do the templating tomorrow so let's get some tools out and get going So as you see, I've cut this uh, end panel. Unfortunately, it's not quite long enough because we made this uh, corner post here bigger to accommodate the dishwasher door. Uh, we're 70 mil short here, which is a shame. So I'm gonna have to try and see if there's some material extra or get an extra part of an end panel. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you how I'm gonna fix this end panel in. As obviously what I said I'm gonna do is bond it to that batten I put on the floor to hold the whole island sort of steady. But what I've done, I'm going to fix it through the back of these units here. And to help me do that, I've cut some spaces. This is just CLS uh, to the right uh, depth here of the, the void in the back of the unit. And I've put a screw in through the back to fix them to the back. And then I've drilled all the way through and countersunk them, as you can see, countersunk them on this side. And then I can get an 80 mil screw go all the way through. So what that'll do is just help hold that in place. I'm doing the same on the bottom as well. I mean, obviously once the adhesive goes off, that'll fix that. But this has got a slight, if you can see down there, it's got a slight curve in it. So uh, if it was nice and dead flat, we might have been able to just stick it and leave it in position with a few clamps on. But uh, just a nice, quick and easy way of getting a nice solid fixing through the back of those units. <laughs> Excellent. So 
we've got a nice joint there. We've got the factory edge of the main panel coming through here. And obviously this end panel had to cut down. So what I was able to do, a really nice cut with the uh, track saw, cut a really nice edge down there. And those two butted together uh, made a nice joint. So I did put a little bit of um, some silicon in this, in this instance, about two inches up at the bottom of the cut there, just in case any water, it shouldn't do because there's gonna be wooden floors in here. But yeah, that's that done now. Just got to stitch a little bit in that other end. Right, I'll tell you what's happened today. In the back of my mind, I've got it that the guy's coming to template tomorrow. So what I've done, I shouldn't really have made a video, but I've already made one. So in the immortal words, I've started so I've finished, I better do another video. I shouldn't really have done a video today because I really have just been cracking on. It's pretty much the end of the day now and I haven't really got the camera out that much. I'll quickly show you what I've done and what I haven't done. I had to, my attention was taken away from something else. So I haven't done as much as I wanted to today, but I've concentrated on getting it so it's ready for the templating guys to come tomorrow, which it is. So I haven't done these wall units here. So I'll show you what I've done. And I can't believe it's one of those days where, you know, I don't know, it doesn't look like I've done anything. But we've got this back panel on here. As I said earlier, it's a little bit short here. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, there's a factory edge down there. There's nothing we can do about it. It only comes in 2.4 meter lengths. So the join sort of out of the way. I'll make a nice job of joining something in there. As I said here, uh, this the end panels on here and um, cut the factory edges. I've explained that got a nice joint down there uh, This end panel is on so that's now ready for all of these wall units to go across here Which should be a nice easy job a bit of a pain in the backside normally this company keep the tops They keep a solid top in these Sink units here uh, keep it down about three mil for you know your standard sort of under mounted stainless steel sink Of course, I've got the sinks out and there's no real information if you see on the plan look It just shows a bowl and a half sink. So I've got this sink out and it's a great big heavy um, porcelain sink like a Belfast type sink it's got a really big lip on it so I had to cut out the tops that are in which is all good and well but they're uh, dowel glued in so I have to cut those and cut the dowels what I've done you can just see here is I've managed to cut some rips and timber down so it sits nice on that lip and there's just a mill or so for a silicon joint not 100 sure where that's going to go for and aft uh, yet uh, wait till the template guys get here Obviously, we need some room down the back to get a tap. May have to take some of this back panel out, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, other things that have come to light, uh, and I should have tweaked it, but again, you kind of, I get dumped in on the job and no one really goes through the drawings with me and you have to kind of get up to speed on as you're going. These pipes here are what we've got there is a 22 mil cold, uh, 22 mil hot down, and then that'll be the 15 mil cold, main cold up to all the rest of the services. That's obviously got to come up and be joined in the bottom of the sink unit. It's in the wrong place, I don't know why, whether the kitchen design changed, but um, anyone that fits his kitchens will know you can't put pipes behind an integrated dishwasher, but hopefully, uh, normally the dishwashers are, I pack them up off the floor about 40 mil, and they do have a sort of recess, uh, they sort of have a recessed area behind the back of the dishwashers. I'll show you, look, here, let me show you right here, look. They do have a sort of recessed access, so fingers crossed I can we can get those pipes, I promise we can get those pipes in there, but obviously I can't, again, because we've all sort of, it's all systems go, the plumber isn't in yet, so really I shouldn't have been fitting this kitchen, but hey-ho. So I obviously can't put this dishwasher in yet because that would just be brutally unfair to expect him to try and plumb that lot up, you know, behind a dishwasher. Uh, so that's in, so this is already, as I said, um, it's all a case of sort of prioritising, you know, when you're under, when you're under pressure and someone's coming like a templator, you have to get everything ready and I can, I don't know when they're coming tomorrow, but I can get these wall units in and I'm not going to be in anyone's way. I can just move out of here and may even be able to, you know, have a quick chat with him while he's doing it. So that's the main kitchen done. And then if we go into the utility, it's a bit dark in here, I'm obviously cracked on in here. Uh, got There's a tall housing here, which the light's terrible, sorry, but you can just see the, those wires come down here. So that back's only in there temporarily. There'll be a, there's like a double consumer board in there. So once they're put in, I'll then uh, infill this back around it. Uh, fridge freezer going in there and obviously we've got an end panel on there there'll be a small I'm, I'm, I've mentioned it before in my other videos there'll be a small bit of aluminium support on there uh, so we've got a, a hole for a freestanding washing machine 
hold for a freestanding tumble dryer, I presume. Um, obviously those end panels just bonded in and I did seal the bottoms up. Uh, that's just obviously a side panel corner post. And then we've just got a corner unit. Same again here, we've got one of these big sort of Belfasty type sinks. So I had to do the same again. I had to cut out the top. But anyway, that's all in there now ready. So uh, the other sort of slight issue I've got here is this unit can't be, it is fixed, but it can't stay fixed because exactly the same again. If you can just, if you can see down there, I hope you can, the light's terrible. There's your, the feeds that need to go into the bottom of this uh, sink unit here. And obviously they're not. So again, that cupboard's gonna have to come out. That carcass is gonna have to come out so the plumber's got half a chance. But there's some more units to go up there, but I can sort that out tomorrow. The main thing, as I've said, and I know I'm repeating myself now, uh, the main thing is that the that it's ready for the template, guys. It's been a funny day today. Just, you know, I said, just in the back of your mind, when you know someone's coming, it can make you a little bit preoccupied. So it hasn't been, I haven't been in misery today, but it hasn't been as fun as usual. But anyway, tomorrow is another day and I shall get these wall units in, the wall units in the utility, like I said, and, um, you know, maybe start putting some doors on, get rid of some of these, uh, there's appliances everywhere. So, oh, getting blinded there. Um, appliances everywhere, so maybe get some of those out, get some of those stuck in, just get some off the floor so that the decorator can carry on. So that's the end of a day for me. Um, tomorrow's another day, which I'm looking forward to, and I will see you then. Morning. Today I'll be mostly fitting wall units here and here. So let's get on with it. So there you go, so you can see now, I would say that's all of this kitchen uh, first fixed. We've got all the units in, everything spaced, all the end panels on, scribes are in, cornice and pelmets on. So uh, 
that'll be that for this video and the next video will be the last one where I should just basically put all the appliances in, get all the doors on, get everything straightened up and hopefully uh, also by the time that's ready to be edited and uploaded to YouTube, the workshop should be on as well so I can show you the kitchen finished. Hope you've found this video interesting, thanks for watching.